Right, I'm gonna give a quick tour of our new Defender camping setup. So this is the first time we camp, so we have not got the ultimate setup. It's just a sort of, it's our prototype tour, isn't it, George? But it was really good and it was functional and we've used it and it was cool. It was, George was saying he's over there. It was cool and it's functional. So George is doing the filming today. So right, so we'll do a few little things. Let's have a look. So one cool thing. So we've got it going, so this is an ARB roof tent and it folds out like so. Now you can have them coming out the side or the back, but on the Defender, having it coming over the back gives us a sheltered area and we can still open the door, which is really good. Now the big advantage of the roof tent is that we don't need any bedding or any tent stored in here. So we've just got our stove, some tools, our pots and pans. We've just only done one night, so we didn't need much at all. We got everything in there. One thing we've done on our Defender, this rear plastic panel you can buy off Land Rover pre-painted and it's quite inexpensive. So this is a good panel to modify. You can drill the poop out of this, it pops off and we've done a video how to do that. So we have fitted a Wi-Fi control circuit board here and we can control off our phone four individual outputs and we've used this to control so at night if we want to get up and go to the toilet we can turn on the lights and we'll probably put some other work lights and, and we look so cool having just these kind of things here whether they're functional or not although they do plan to be yeah it's so cool just having things just bolted out the car it's the way the defender's meant to be really and we're going to have a usb one thing we really needed was a usb charger that's live 24 hours not just when the cars you don't want to be turning your ignition on on a campsite to start it up so one of these is going to be a cable i'm going to make that's going to go up through the hinge which is just here and we'll be straight into the tent through the hinge and we can have a 12 volt usb or 5 volt usb as it happens light source there so that's what that one's for um, so that's all good and functional. The, the thing I liked about this circuit board was that you could also just press the buttons. So you don't have to go scrabbling for your phone. You can just literally press the button and it'll do it. So we'll get all that working. And if you want to know more about that install, and there's a second battery installed under here, under the boot for I've done. If you want to know more about that, let me know and I'll do another video about that. So that's that bit there. Right, so let's have a look more at the ARB tent and how that's worked. We've done a slow-mo video, and should we put it at the end of this video, George, of us putting up assembling? So George and I did it, it's the first time. So at the end of this video, we'll do the video of us setting up the roof tent. But it was our first time. I think we could do it in 10 minutes easy, don't you, George? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so what cool things. So this tent came with these little, so these are little slide outs. So obviously you can put accessories in here, and these are a little slide out. We had our Crocs in there last night. That worked, and that we had one each side and then if we go up into the tent you can roll this bit up here do you want to roll that George I'll take the mic I'll take the camera sorry you can roll that up now while George is rolling that up and there's some little toggles so he'll clip it up I'll show you around the outside so there are these little side canopies now that was really good because we woke up this morning and we could look out over the Welsh mountains where we're staying now when you're in a, a sort of floor mounted tent you don't get that privilege you don't get that ability to see that right so one thing when we the roof the roof ladder I had to order the extended roof ladder but I couldn't work out how it worked but then I think George said to me well look what you can do is you can lower your suspension so on the Defender you've got the ability to raise and lower the air suspension here so we've lowered it right down at the back which has meant it's slightly lower and the standard ARB roof ladder now fits which is really cool so George is, oh George, you're supposed to put them in the shoe holder. He's lost his Audi limited edition sliding Crocs. Right, so here we go. So we've got, I'll take the camera. Take the camera. So it, it's all, so it comes, the mattress is included with the, and in fact, the only problem we had was the mattress lies across flat. And when you sandwich it up, it's sandwiched in between. And when you open it up, the mattress got pinched and it wouldn't open properly. And we had this situation where we were trying to poke our fingers into a hinge and we were just talking to another guy at the event at the Ineos Grenadier launch event we're at and he's got the same roof tent and he has the same problem so we need to put some bits of elastic or something across to stop this mattress pinching in. Right another feature I really like these little side pockets here so we put uh, you could put your phone or your wallet yeah, or your I had my um 
phone and glasses in there last night. And USB charger. We didn't get hardly any condensation. There was some condensation on the poles last night, but the tent was all fine. And if you take a view out there, George, can you see the mountains out the view there? So just having that view and having that air flow through. And because they're designed in Australia, you've got all the mosquito nets. You probably won't be able to see them, but we've got the mosquito net up here. And it's a pretty fine net, isn't it? It's, yeah. So we, we were midge free last night. We're insect free. Um, what, one question, if anyone's out there watching this video knows what this strap, so these straps here, I can understand. These form sort of part of the tensile member. And obviously there's a hinge along the middle and the weight here is partly taken by the hinge, partly taken by the ladder. And I think also this strap where it goes around also helps keep everything taut. But there's this random strap here. I have no idea what this does. It hangs off the roof and it hangs there. It's like a dog lead. I have no idea why you'd, why, you, why you'd want that. But if anyone knows, let me know. Um, right. Space-wise. Space-wise, two of us were both six foot pretty much. Well, slept thank you. Slept, <laughs> you're getting there, John. Um, we slept in here fine um, last night. Plenty of room. The mattress. Some people have said, oh, have you got a topper on top? I don't know what luxury they're used to, George, but it was fine for us, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And we just had light sleeping bags. It was warm. Some people are saying this tent might not be good at, at you know, sub-zero temperatures, but for our camping last we're night... We're not going sub-zero. We don't do... We're lightweights. Um, any other cool features? I mean, I guess if you wanted to, you could hang things off the pole up there. Oh, right. Let's go down and look at more Defender features. We've done enough tents. Let's get down and have a look at some more of our Defender camping features. Right, the other little piece de resistance. Any any camping trip, it's all about socialising. It's all about entertainment, enjoying yourself. So we have the Jerry Can Holder. Jerry spelt with a G in homage to Jerry McGovern. The beautiful man. The beautiful man. That's sounding a bit weird coming from a young boy like you, George, but we'll gloss over that. Look at this. This is our own the side gear carrier. Turns out it's perfect for a bar. Four bar four. Four bar four. You see what we did there? Yeah, we got the Ronas. We got the Ronas. We got the we got some ice packs in here. It keeps everything cool. Um, we, yeah, we're gonna get we're, we're gonna we, we got these sort of ice cubes you can put in the freezer. But actually, you could put real ice cubes in here because Good. it's got a waterproof bung. So uh, we got ciders. Other bands of cider are available and. Obviously, it's not just about the drinks, it's about the atmosphere. So we've got a spinny light. We've also got a PR sensor light here that when you open it, if you've got it's the right mode there, strip. the LED strip comes on. Trust me, at night, this is insane. This is party central. You get like a speaker as well. Yes. Right, so we'll get... I did I did have another little thing. I've drilled two holes here. I've got a little thing that holds napkins and little straws, but there's still a work in progress. There's more to come on the 4x4. Four four. Nice. So, Keep you right, so we'll put up the video now of us assembling the tent. Any questions, comments, any any things we need to add to the bar? Yeah, we finally got a use for the lunchbox. The lunchbox, yes, it's party box, the jerry can holder. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you later. Right, we're going to do a time lapse of George and I putting up the ARB Simpson tent. First thing we're going to do is lower the suspension because the ladder for the RB10 is not, and if we fall out, we don't want to fall out from that much higher. Right, okay, let's go into time lapse, George. <laughs>
Right, there you go, we've done it. We have put the tent up. That's George and I's first time. We managed it without arguing, which is always good, isn't it, George? <laughs> well, it was a pretty simple job. It is pretty simple. We're pretty pleased with that. So we've, we've got everything. The deluxe features, look at these. these hanging shoe holders. We had your flip-flops in there. Yeah. We, we did have one problem, didn't we, George? When it, when it opens, th this hinge is the, is the key thing. So so you've got two halves and they, they come round like this and they go round and, and they sort of join together. But it pinched the mattress. So we had to get back in, lift it up and George has to pull the mattress. Whatever, and you've got to be careful here. You don't want to put your put your their, um, fingers inside, do you, George? No. That's going to have your fingers a treat. So we have to just make sure that was off. One thing I will show you while we're here, we're not on the best camera for it, but we did 3D print some mounts here. I don't know if you can just get the angle up through there. George. See this plastic mount here, and we've got some stainless steel straps, so it, it grips onto the Land Rover bars perfectly. So we got that done this week. Thank you to Matthew Bell. There you go. Um, right, and Julian. Julian did the design on the 3D. Matthew Bell cut the laser bits for me. Right, we're all off now. We're going to go back up there. We've got food laid on and we are going to do our Ineos walk around observations.